All right, guys, today we have skill versus pay to win in PvP. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join the Discord link in the description below if you want to win giveaways like these. And let's get into the video. So, skill versus pay to win, aka spam to win. Now, this has been a topic of discussion for a long, long time time and today we're going to add to the discussion and yeah i'm just gonna go over the pros and the cons of skill and pay to win first we have skill and the first pro about skill is you will get better faster than if you used a pay to win build because obviously the name skill if you guys didn't know it means it takes skill so it's harder to learn but once you master it you will be a very good pvp -er. and you know who doesn't want to get good at pvp if they're playing the game all right the second pro is that people cannot cry about spamming oh my gosh this is annoying like if i'm using dragon or like venom or something on occasion they will go on about crying and crying about this spammer spammer this Spammer that. Oh, use spam, 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 spam. While using Doe, CDK, God Human, and Kabucha. But yeah, if you use skill build, you won't worry about all the crying and just being mad at you. The next pro is competitiveness. Huh? And what I mean by that, because I know you guys have no clue what I'm talking about right now, is a uh, good cruise, basically. You can use these builds to get into very good cruise, administrator cruise, good known cruise, any stuff like that. Those sort of things, because most of the time, those sort of crews only take skilled builds. So if you learn skill and you become decently slash really good at it, you have a good chance to make one of these crews. Nice. Yeah, you can have your sweaty war fights and all of that good stuff, which can be very nice. But yeah, that about wraps up the pros. Now on to the cons. All right, so first off, it is hard to find skilled build that can actually be fun Ooh. to play with. Because most of the time when you think of skilled, this is what pops up in your mind. The good old sheep build, superhuman rumble, soul cane, ascidium rifle. Yeah, this gets super boring after a while. Creativity, hard to find in skilled builds, bro. But yeah, with all of that said, let's go to the pay to win. Uh, Ah uh, yes, pay to win, aka spam, aka Oh brother, this guy stinks! But there are a lot of pros. The first pro is so much variety. There is so much variety in these pay to win builds. Like there's so many fun things you can do. And unlike skilled builds, they feel different. Like skilled builds, most of them feel the same. Even if they're different builds, they kind of feel the same. But with pay to win, pay to win, spam, spam, most of the fruits feel different. But yeah, there's a lot of variety and uh, you can just switch and have fun pretty easily with the unskilled slash pay to win fruits. Next, we just have how cool they look the moves look way better on pay to win builds than skilled builds we can all agree on this moves on pay to win builds just look amazing and yeah this also ties in with the fun factor a bit because you know obviously you want to see something cool and nice and good looking while you're playing so next we have how easy it is to get bounty easy. getting bounty with these fruits is so easy obvious reason why is because you can just spam your keyboard smash your head on it and you win like these fruits are brain dead which is why they're pay to win easy easy bounty very very fast click a few buttons and you will get bounty easy. i think that wraps up the pros now on to the cons first con people will cry and call you a spammer people will be insanely mad and call you a spammer they'll call you a spammer for anything but next we have not being able to compete nope. in good crews with these unskilled spam pay to win cash grab fruits uh most good crews are not going to let you join because they have strict skilled rules and uh if you're using t-rex fruit main transformation chances are they're not going to let you try out or get into the crew hopefully this video helped you out let me know your opinions in the comments down below and if you did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join the discord which will be in the link in the description below and i will see you guys in the next one